Get away. Yes, 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 yes. So these are the straight visuals that we are showing you. Look at how things have intent intensified here at uh, BJP office. We've been here, Zaka, since 6 a.m. in the morning. But now, when the trends are getting clearer and stronger for BJP, you can see that every nook and corner of uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party's office here in Gujarat, Kamlam, is uh, filled with people. You can see Dhol, Nagades, everybody. And uh, they are present here. And uh, you can see, you can see these visuals here. And uh, these, uh, you can see the chanting of Jai Shri Ram. Jai Ho. I would request my camera person to just show on that side. These are the visuals which are coming straight from uh, the BJP office. A special bank has also been invited here to perform on the eve of uh, the victory of uh, Bharatiya Janata Party. We'll also try to speak to a few people here who've come here and to be part of uh, the celebration. लोकतंत्र का मंदिर का मंदिर में जो आहुतियां सभी ने लगाई गुजरात की जनता ने उसका आज प्रसाद प्रतिरोध होने जा रहा जीत की खुशी में Story in itself will set it sets the tone, and we keep have to we have to build up to Lok Sabha 2024 because Absolutely. that's what it is. And the other aspect is you don't take your constituency lightly. You yeah. don't take anybody for granted, Absolutely. and that's the lesson we have to learn from Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And, and At no point has he taken it for granted. Imagine the kind of effort. Mm. The Prime Minister has been in and out of Gujarat, inaugurating multiple projects for the last six months. Home Minister Amit Shah was parked in Gujarat yes. for the last one and a half months and Zafar Islam was with him in uh, Ahmedabad. I met him in Ahmedabad. Zafar Islam, this is a big number of expectations. 155. Well, uh, if you can recollect, Maria, I had mentioned to you that uh, we will create history this time. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the people of Gujarat for having reposed confidence in our leadership have given a lot of love and affection to, the, uh, to our leadership and particularly to the Prime Minister. And we had said that if we will not be surprised if we exceed even 150 number. The, the, the indications are what it is today, to, uh, right now it's 155. And that suggests that we will create history this time. And, uh, and Congress party will also create history but having the lowest number of seats in Gujarat. Zafar, mm. Zafar. And, I, and, and all this is possible. Hmm. All, all all this is what possible do you think are the factors because... that worked for you? And the biggest factor in Prime Minister Modi? What are the factors? Are? You can See, the differentiating factor between us and Congress that we have prioritized Pradesh, they have prioritized part, uh, uh, Parivar. We have always worked for the people of Gujarat for their welfare and for the welfare of the state. We have always done everything good for the state in terms of the developmental project which we have, which we have launched and worked for the uh, uh, in the interest of the state. While they have always prioritized party and their leadership, and that's why today 
Parivar and, part, and the leadership are the ones who have benefited in Gujarat and elsewhere. That's why people of Gujarat have recognized that this party, Bharatiya Janata Party, even after 27 years, they, there is a sense of pro incumbency because we we are we, we use uh, government only as a platform to serve the people. We we are we we are, we have demonstrated it, and that is something which has worked for us. That we are only. Uh, the uh, uh, government is only as a medium to serve the people, and that's what we have done in Zafar the last Islam. 27 years. Zafar and Islam. we have won the confidence of the people and the and and the ashirwad. The Namaste. Of this is Anand here. This is Anand here. There are celebrations and Anand among the BJP am among the BJP karyakartas all around. But most importantly, look at the women karyakartas. The, it's the women who are leading the celebration across the board. Uh, Aman is also with us. Uh, Aman on ground. This aspect of Labharti, this empowerment or uh, making women more powerful, financially independent, digitally connecting them and also giving them a belief that they are the ones who are going to drive the change in society and part of the story. Is this perhaps the secret recipe of the Prime Minister? Is this the connect that uh, is giving the BJP the kind of vote share that they are that's reflecting on the Election Commission's website? 50% plus, nearly 53%. 53% Anand and I think women voters have strongly backed Mr. Modi, strongly backed the BJP. That has also been the history of Gujarat. If you look at the entire dairy sector revolution, if you look at schemes which have been rolled out, in fact the BJP manifesto in Gujarat had focused in a big way on benefits for women. In a way the Sri Shakti concept that Mr. Modi has adopted in many states, it has it is most visible I think in Gujarat and that is what has really helped the party to come up with this huge success also you know the Modi magic so the if you traveled in Gujarat Anand you would have seen these posters all over saying security safety peace this is the line that the BJP sold in Gujarat with Mr. Modi as the face that the Gujarat is peaceful for the last 20 years since 2002 this I think over women voters also very much concerned that there should be peace in society there should be a feeling of sense safety and security you also see how BJP this time, Anand, has swept not just the urban seats, even the rural seats of Saurashtra yes. as well as the tribal belt. Mm. This also shows that the schemes of the Modi government, be it free cylinders, be it Swachh Bharat, be it the free rations during the COVID pandemic, have impacted the people on the ground. This has reached every person and that is the reason that women, even in the tribal belt, in the rural belt areas where BJP was not strong in 2017 election, even the tribal belt has always voted so for the Congress in Gujarat. Uh, you know, the point that you're trying to make, there's a difference between Labharthis and those who saw that as freebies. Hmm. So the Aam Admi Party had said, I'll give you 1500 rupees. When you meet the women of Gujarat, they were saying that there is a party which has delivered. Unhone promise kiya aur deliver kiya hai abhi tak. Why shouldn't we trust them? Absolutely. Hmm. I think that Gujarat has clearly rejected this freebie model. Yes. If we can, that is very clear in this election. Gujarat has adopted the empowerment model, the yes. model of beneficial development schemes actually reaching uh, Gujarat. In fact, me and Maria had written a piece earlier on how the transformative changes that have come in Gujarat under Mr. Modi since 2002, hmm. you know, be it in the dairy sector, be it in other sectors, be it women empowerment, be it water of Narmada reaching every home. Uh, you know, these are transformative changes which are bringing returns to the BJP and in this election we are seeing it at full might. You know, not just the Congress has been decimated, a 54% vote share Anand shows mm. that the overwhelming majority of the state is backing Mr. Modi. They yes. still see Mr. Modi as the face. Mr. Modi may have gone to Delhi eight years back, but if you spoke to any voter in Gujarat, they said, I'm, I'm some but, of the but soil Modi also because darling. Prime Minister Narendra Modi continues to be invested in Gujarat. He's yes. never forgotten Gujarat or taken Gujarat for granted. He may be an MP from Varanasi now, so if he's adopted Varanasi and he's done a lot for Varanasi, he's come back and said, I will never forget Gujarat and I will always do that. See, that is the kind of investment you need to give back to your roots and never forget it. The other part, uh, uh, Zaka, as we, uh, you know, on the wall, the, earlier on in the morning, there were certain pockets where you thought that the BJP will still uh, yeah, yeah. Will, will suffer. But urban, urban and rural, yeah. all of it it's, it's a sweep. Just to just to take you through the rural seats. Now, the BJP, uh, this is where it hurt them last time around. The rural seats, they were not doing well. But look at Saurashtra, sea of orange here. Look at central Gujarat. This is the cooperative belt that we were talking about. This is Anand, Kheda, that belt, uh, the Amul belt as it's mm. called, the milk cooperative belt. Again, huge gains for the BJP. Then you go up north, Mesana, Patan, Sabarkanta, Banaskanta. Again, both the tribal belt as well as the north uh, uh, belt. Again, the BJP 